I just want to highlight uh, there's a new website out there which features um, a collection of seven issues of the Creature Chronicles from Ron Schaffner. Uh, the website is blakemathis.com. That's last name is spelled M A T H Y S dot com slash creature chronicles dot html there are six regular issues of the, uh, the the newsletter plus a supplemental issue about Bigfoot rocks and I'm referring to spherical uh, boulder well not boulders but uh, spherical stones that are used by Sasquatches to uh, well, allegedly used by Sasquatches to hunt for their prey, to bring down their prey, I should say. Um, anyway, there are six issues. It's issues two through seven of the Creature Chronicles. It doesn't just—they don't just cover Sasquatch. They also cover other cryptozoological um, entities, such as giant uh, cats, giant cats. Uh, Lizards, the, the Loveland Frog, which was a famous incident in Ohio, the Loveland Frog incident. Um, also, uh, out of place dogs, or weird dogs, or canine type creatures. But anyway, yes, it's BlakeMathis.com, M A T H Y S slash creaturechronicles.html really fascinating historical uh, aspects in there I think I think the historical aspects are extremely important and uh, really cool stuff it really is some, some really great reports in there including there's one issue where uh, Ron and his group actually went to uh, Washington State I did a little bit of research out there. I also want to recommend Blake's main website, BlakeMathis.com, where he has several uh, photographs of uh, various Sasquatch personalities that he has met over the years, including when he took a trip out to uh, an international Sasquatch symposium, which took place in 2001. So I do recommend the website BlakeMathis.com and also the Creature Chronicles website. Those who are interested in a historical perspective, um, I think we'll be satisfied with both, with both websites. So um, that's my two cents on those two websites. Great stuff going on there, by the way, and we'll see you guys later. Take care.